Jesus is back. When I saw the 20 pictures of Jesus on the internet today, I leapt with joy. I was excited. Woo! Gabriel Jesus. See, sometimes you don't appreciate what you have until you lose it. For real. Even though I was not joining the hymns and the songs of some Arsenal fans. Actually, that's not fans. Joining the opposition. Oh, he does not score enough goals. Agreed. He does not score enough goals. But what he contributes to the team is immeasurable. What he gives to the team, the balance. In fact, see, Jesus got injured in December. Suddenly, after the World Cup, Xhaka has not been the same. Martinelli has not been the same. What does that tell you? This guy facilitates other players. He makes other players look good. Especially Martinelli. It's, it's so obvious, and Xhaka, that their performances have dropped since Jesus has been injured. Th that's, that's factual. That's well documented. This is no shot to Nketiah. He has done his best. But there is something about Gabriel Jesus when he's there. His dribbling ability, his hold up play, his pressing. No, he, he doesn't just press aimlessly. I'm not taking no shot at Nketiah. Like, you guys know I like to defend Nketiah. But Jesus has a calculated press. He knows when to press. He knows when to hold up the ball. He comes to the midfield. He even comes to the defense to retrieve, retrieve the ball, dribble out of tight spaces. His dribbling ability for me is next to as in I don't see any better dribbler in English from actually <laughs> sorry that dribbles better than Jesus. Name one. I'm not saying just carrying the ball aimlessly. I just dribbles better than Jesus. Name one. There is current ball abilities. The fact that like I said, he might not be the most prolific, and he's still young, he's not in his prime. Jesus is 25. Give him a damn break. Give him a break. But this guy makes his teammates better. He fights for the team. He brings a level of winning mentality. Seeing him back playing. I called it a last week. Said he was already back uh, training individually. Then I saw a picture today at the back of Saka. He seemed like he took part in training. That's no fact. Don't quote me on that. But the picture was suggesting he was training with the group. Even though Ateta has come out to deny that he's not yet training with the group. Even though the Tiongi Knights are saying he's not yet training with the group. But that picture says a lot. He was at the back of Saka during training. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm getting too excited. But seeing Jesus back on the pitch with the ball. Ah, long, long. Ah. See, if we have Jesus for the last 10 games of the season, we are winning the league. If I have Jesus, Pate, Soliba, and Gabriel, confidently, we are winning the league. I'm hundred, I am a thousand percent sure we win the league. Now, I don't want Atita to rush him back. Let him take it. Let him take his time. I don't mind him coming back into the fold after international international break. Let him take his time. Let's not rush him so I can break down. No, I know J Jesus is very very. Tenacious. He wants to get back and help his teammate. Jesus, calm down. We need you for the last 10 games. Calm down. Get fully fit and come back. Trossard is doing a decent job. Get him doing a decent job. Come back fully fit. No need for Atta to rush him. No need for us to rush him. All we need is for the last 10 games and Europa League. And I am a thousand percent who will win the league with Jesus if he's fit. Provided he doesn't break down, we'll win the league. And Europa League, there's a great chance we could win the Europa League too. I think we have a decent score to do that. We have Jorginho to actually share the burden of, uh, of, of, of time, uh, of playing time with Pate, so Pate can be properly managed. Everything is looking great right now. It's looking great. Tomorrow we play Everton. I expect us to win, uh, get the three point, even though football is a funny game. But I still expect us to, win the, the, to get three point. And uh, The only thing I'm thinking of is about Ben White. And to me, I prefer to me also to come because we need a bit of height. We know those bouncers, those uh, tall, gigantic players of Everton. We need to match them for their height. We know they will be relying on set pieces. So we need a very, very, very crafty. Uh, we need a very smart. Ben White is a good player. He can defend set pieces. But we know Tomiyasu is our best player that wins area duels and winning uh, ball in the air. So I prefer. Tomiyasu, I understand against Man City, he made a horrible pass. 
that led to that goal for Man City. This happened as part of football. I would prefer also play Tommy Asu instead of Ben White. This is no shit to Ben White. I just think, really, Tommy Asu is held and shoulders above even Saliba and Gabriel, in my opinion. I might be wrong. Let me know. What do you think? We would like to see Ben White play as right back or Tommy Asu. Like I said, the Evertonians will rely on set pieces. And we know Tarkovsky, Cody, Onana, uh, all those giants will be trying to uh, use their height against us now. We don't have a lot of height in, in as from defense, we don't have a lot of height in the team. So we need to make sure we bring a bit of height into our team. So, like I said, I'm still excited, so excited, overly excited that Jesus seems to be taking part in light full training. It shows that he's getting closer to joining the squad and joining the team. They don't need to rush him. Just make sure he's fully fit and it helps us win the league. Like I said, I, we have, I think, 13 to 14 games left, so we don't need to rush him. I just want him for the last 10 games. Those crucial games within Man City, Chelsea, Liverpool, we need Jesus fully fit. So, no need to rush in. Guys, if you like my content and I subscribe, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you stick a like on the video. Very, 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 very important. And don't forget to turn on notification bells. I'll see you guys on the next one.